Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today is another episode of Too Small, the show in which we take a small little contraption and say, hey, that's too small, how about we make it 10 times bigger and 100 times more efficient? And this episode is absolutely no exception, in this one we're going to be taking a look at the humble stone generator, so how about we take a look at what I've got for you. So on the screen right now, we've got your average everyday stone generator. Lava runs on top of water, and in the middle, stone is generated. Now these things are relatively compact, they're easy to build, and most importantly, they don't require that many resources. But let's face the facts here, they're relatively slow. So I thought I'd come along and speed things up a little bit, and this is what I've managed to come up with. This here is my stone generator. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger than this design over here, and it certainly uses a lot more resources, but it is considerably faster. We have got 56 smooth stone spawning modules, and that creates 112 smooth stone per second. Now the storage area in the middle can contain up to 8,008 stone blocks, which equates to around about 125 stacks of stone, and if you were to mine it all out using a diamond pickaxe, that would take you 37 and a half minutes, but of course, that is if the machine is off. If you leave the machine running, it will be producing stone far faster than you can possibly mine, and I would say that's relatively impressive. Now before I switch this thing on, I just want to warn you, my computer's pretty good, but I don't know if it can quite handle this particularly well. Now that I've toned down a few of my Minecraft settings, how about we flick this lever here and we will begin to see all of the smooth stone being generated. Now I do apologise that we're getting a bit of a slideshow as I walk around this one, but I'll try my best to explain what exactly is happening here. So the lava is running over the water and the stone is being generated, pistons are then dragging the stone downwards and then more pistons are pushing the stone across. That then goes across here, goes into this little block conveyor belt which pushes the stone downwards and then across into the large scale storage area. The way that our storage system works is actually really quite simple, we have a bunch of pistons facing downwards that all fire every time the stone generator fires. That means that all of this stone moves across and as it does it all gets pushed downwards as you can see right here. Now of course these pistons can only push up to 12 blocks, meaning that when this area fills up, these pistons won't be able to extend and the stone will travel across like this and be pushed down by these pistons until it all fills up, then these pistons until it all fills up, and so on and so forth. Now of course these pistons over here can only push up to 12 blocks, meaning they all move towards the centre, and the stone from this side will also move towards the centre, and when they meet into the middle, that is when you know your storage system is almost fully full. But sadly, I hate to admit it, this design isn't quite perfect. We've got a small problem that I've been trying ever so hard to fix, but haven't been able to find a solution, and that is the fact that occasionally cobblestone is generated in with all of our smooth stone. Now I believe this is actually due to lag spikes, and nothing to do with the redstone. As you saw when we switched the machine on, we get a huge quantity of lag, and I guess that messes about with the lava and water timings, which means that occasionally cobblestone is being generated. Now if anyone knows a potential way that I could fix this problem, please let me know down in the comment section, because that would really help me out. Now as always with these sorts of big builds, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this design, however if you do want to take a closer look at the world, perhaps have a play around with the redstone, as always there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. But anyway ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please be sure to hit that like button, and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe, but thanks for watching guys, this has been Mumbo, and I'm out, I'll see you later.